Is there a way to play Blu-rays discs on Windows 10? The short answer is yes, but you'll have to do a little work first. Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Windows removed Media Center and pulled its support from Windows 10, making it more difficult to play the discs on your computer. Instead, you'd have to pay $15 to spin your favorite flicks by buying the Windows DVD player app from the Windows Store. We're going to show you how to do this for free using a third-party media player and program that can convert the files on the disc to files that can play on any media player. So let's get started. VLC is my favorite third-party media player. This is a media player that can handle most major music and video file formats. It functions the same way as Windows Media Player, but with lots of extra features. Although VLC isn't available in the Microsoft Store, you can get it for free from the developer's website. Natively, VLC can neither play Blu-ray discs nor display some Blu-ray menus. You'll need to install it first, then download two more files and place them in specific folders. After installing VLC, open File Explorer and go to C Drive Program Files. Create a new folder and name it AACS. Go to vlc-blu-ray.whoknowsmy.name and download keydb.cfg. Go to the folder you just created. On the same website, download libaacs.dll to your VLC folder. If you can't download it directly to the VLC directory, download the file to a different location and then drag it into the VLC directory. Launch VLC and click Media, Open Disk. Click Blu-ray Radial. Check the box next to No Disk Menus. Select your Blu-ray in the Disk Device field. Click Play. The second method to playing Blu-ray discs on Windows 10 involves ripping and encoding, a process that entails converting the files on the disc into files that can play in any media player. When you rip and encode a Blu-ray disc, the information from the disc is copied to your computer, and you can then convert it into a media file format that any media player is capable of playing. It doesn't destroy the disc, so you can still use it normally. However, in some jurisdictions, making personal copies of Blu-ray discs is illegal. These copies are only meant for personal use, not display or distribution, guys. To rip and encode the Blu-ray discs, you can use a program like Make MKV. It's easy to use and converts all your physical discs into digital files with ease. You can also watch converted files on other devices using programs like Plex. The only downside to using Make MKV is that MKV files take up a lot of space on your hard drive. Go to the official Make MKV website. Click Make MKV, download and install it. Open Make MKV and click File, Open Disk. Select your Blu-ray disk and click Yes. Go to the Make MKV section, click the green icon and click Yes. Wait for the conversion to finish. Once done, play the MKV file you've just created in VLC. Nice one! Using VLC or Make MKV can take a long time and it is possible to make mistakes. But they are free ways of playing Blu-ray discs on Windows 10. While it would be a lot easier if Microsoft just reinstated Windows Media Center, the changing habits are a hint to what consumer electronics will look like in the future. Did you find this tutorial useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.